In our last session, we learned about how to create currency conversion in SAC model, classical model, right? So in that one, we loaded a second file uh, for January month data. So if you observe the difference between the first file and my second file, what is the difference is in my first file, I loaded all the data in the USD currency. If you see in my first file, everything I loaded with the USD currency and my model is also defined with the constant, uh, you know, uh, with the default currency as USD. Okay, so when we load in such way, what will happen? Data will load uh, as it is, no issues here. But when coming to this uh, second file, here I am loading data with uh, for one of the location, Rajamindri, I loaded the currency EUR. Remaining all locations is USD. It means my file contains multiple currency. That is the case which I want to, uh, you know, highlight here. So even when we are loading data with the multiple currencies into the model, how exactly our model behaving here so if i you know uh, the difference between my first file and second file is clearly the month so seventh month is my first file and january month is my first file uh, in a second file now i am going to my model and i am keeping filter on my uh, date field okay or else location i am keeping a filter at model level yes we can keep filter and uh, uh, check our data set so i am going to location i am going to filter here i am giving location filter as rjy so what happens now only uh, rjy location information only i can see here now so now i have i got the 11 records in this you see uh, first to last um, except the last record remaining all records are from january month and uh, you see the values here 740 1430 so these values are exactly matching with my, uh, if I go to here and uh, in my second file, if I here also, I filter with the uh, Rajmindri and you see 740, 143, it means the values are exactly matching with the model data. It means while data loading into my model, it loaded with the same currency what I am uploading from my flat file means model can preserve data in multiple currencies and the currency information it will store under the uh, you know location respect to currency one but if we, if our model contains multiple currencies then how exactly it behaves when we see the data when we see uh, data in stories okay so to tell you this point um, let me do again here so this is our uh, you know um, sales currency uh, table here and here you see the data default currency is USD and the amount uh, you, you know euro conversion which we did in our earlier session now here I am adding one more dimension to my columns so if I expand my created on dimension uh, here I am getting multiple options like to enable month you know date and all initially I am enabling month it means I am adding calendar month to my um, what is it to my column section chart so what happens here you see for january july is there for uh, usd currency even for uh, euro currency also we got january and july now the point here is uh, let's look at january month uh, i am exp i am adding one more dimension called date dimension to this uh, chart so in january month now we have 1 11 25 for these three dates we have data if i go to my file in my file also for uh, if i take the data set for 11th date i have only one record for January, I have multiple records. For uh, 12th, also I have multiple. But 11th, I have only one record. And the value here is 1870 euros. Okay. Now, if we see here, uh, in 11th date, it is showing for Rajmandri, it is showing 1992 dollars. What exactly it means? So, this automatic conversion of 1870 to 1992 happened at story level. At model level, I have data 1870 only with the euros information it's stored. But when uh, we displaying data in our uh, you know table format, since the the first one is default currency USD system able to perform you know reverse conversion from euro to USD and is displaying the data 1992. And when it got converted to euro, then this value will match with our you know uh, if I go to you see 1870 for January 11, it is matching with our data load time okay so what uh, the point to be noted here is we can load multiple currencies into our model no need to convert entire data into one that is not the case okay and when it is displaying at story level based upon the currency for the you know main uh, default currency it will show data in the respective conversion after conversion it will show okay and by using currency conversion also you can convert it into multiple different currencies as per your requirement
okay uh, these are the point which i want to convey here and uh, while learning this uh, better always to go to the saphelp.com where it provided many important points for example you see i am in this uh, you know data preparation blank section here under currency conversion tables it is saying which are the mandatory settings which are optional settings you know and uh, different you know uh, things so uh, to gain more knowledge always refer to the saphelp.com to get uh, deep insights and uh, always remember uh, try to read those you know notes which gives a special points which is helpful for us okay that's all